If you have chickens, then you're likely to have quite a few flies around, particularly in summer. And it's been a big problem here, where I live. Uh, the neighbour has been bothered as well by the flies that have descended on the area since the chickens arrived. We have two very effective fly traps. The one on the left came from Bunnings and that's been there for about 12 days now. The other one has just been there for three days <coughs> and it was made using a large jar, some black plastic, a piece of string and there's a lid off a um, vitamin container there and a piece of black plastic over the top. These plastic covers are put over the traps because house flies are positively phototropic. This means that they'll move towards the light and it's a predisposition of theirs that can be used as a weapon against them. A cover has been put over the holes to stop the light going through them, thereby decreasing the likelihood that the new container's inhabitants will make their way back out again. Put some fish in water, or mince, some rotting meat, something that's going to attract them and you can attract large numbers through the little holes at the top. When you're making the trap, find something that the flies are very attracted to, like this here. It's dropping. And put it at the top of the traps. Yeah, the rage that looks like a fresh dropping. Not a very pleasant job, but it really helps. What I've done is put a little bit of dropping there, which they seem very interested in this morning, and um, and that seems to get them going through those holes in quite large numbers. And look, it's teeming with them, and that's just three days. And there's another trap over there that was made with a fizzy drink bottle and some sellotape, black plastic, and a piece of string. And in the bottom there is some rotting fish. Doesn't smell very nice, but it's very effective. <laughs>